<laughs> Yo, people who stutter, I have a, I have an important announcement to tell you. All right, and this is what the video is going to be about. I'm going to drop it on you right now. What it is is you have already overcome your stutter. You have already overcome your stutter now this is not a feel-good message even though yeah because it wouldn't feel good right it'd be like what what the fuck is chase talking about i clearly have not but let me drop some news on you all right well let let's uh let's discover something with us right now all right i want you to imagine right now you on a bad stuttering day when you're stuttering a lot, okay? How do you feel? I'm gonna ask you that right now. How do you feel? Well, I feel lots of doubts. I feel lots of shame. I feel like hiding. I feel like repressing. I feel like just being by, by myself, right? Now, how do you feel when you barely stuttered that day? If you do have days like that, where your speech is just really good. When you're on a good speech day, how do you feel? Well, I feel more expressive. I feel more authentic. I feel more alive. I feel more passion. I feel more drive. I feel more happy. Now, which one of these two versions, the bad day and the good day, feels more like you? Not what is more comfortable with you, because there's comfortability in patterns and if you replicate anxiety and you replicate bad days and if you replicate hiding and repressing over and over again that will be comfortable to you and your unconscious and your subconscious not comfortable in the way well this feels good but comfortable in the way that you've been through this pattern so much but what feels more like you obviously the authentic version right the version of you that doesn't stutter as much because you're you enable yourself to be more authentic it enables you to be more who you truly want to be more who you want to show up in the world as now on top of this i want to tell you a story of me when i went to peru to do a drug all right i went to peru to do ayahuasca and you may have heard this story before, or you may have not. But what it's about is on the, on the third night of my ayahuasca ceremony. If you don't know what ayahuasca is, do a quick Google search and come back. It's this hallucinogenic that te takes you through a lot of spiritual, a lot of, um, a lot of what's it called, inward discovery. It feels like I've never done it before. By the way, I explain it, but <laughs> look on Google and you can hear all about it but so i was on the third night right i was really really discovering a lot about me and i had to let so much shit go i was purging which is throwing up i was throwing up so much that that night i was just letting so much shit go i was getting taken through different valleys i was getting taken through different environments and shown my fears and having to be okay with it and letting my fears go and at the end about four or five hours after ayahuasca mother ayahuasca asked asked me man i want to go to peru and do it again right now like it's been a year and a half and i miss it so much um, mother ayahuasca asked me all right you've done a great job of letting go You've done a great job through this whole cer this whole cer this whole ceremony. Now I'm going to ask you: You have anyone in the world that you want to be? All right. You get to be that this 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 person. I I will give you the powers to be this person. Which which person do you want to not copy but in like embody their their skills embody their traits and I thought about it and I was like you know what someone who I thought would be really cool to be 
was a guy named Max Torno, and he was a dating coach back in the day, and he was supposedly like really good with with women, right? So I, I was like, you know what? Let's be that guy. I want to be Max Torno. And then after the ceremony, I felt unbelievable. I felt like a surge of confidence. I felt a surge of knowingness, a surge of I'm the fucking man. I'm the fucking man. And there is this girl that I was talking to at the end of the ceremony, right? I couldn't say one thing wrong. Every single word I was saying was getting spoken with the exact perfect tonality to draw her into me. Every single fucking word I was saying was the perfect word in each situation. Each pause I had to the second from to responding to her was absolutely perfect to get her attracted to me. Every single minute expression I was doing was the top was the best it could possibly be. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I believed it was true. Did Mother Ayahuasca actually give me anything? No, how could it? It just installed the self-belief that I am this person. And I swear to God, I, I was being the version that I think was the most attractive version of anyone has ever been in this entire world. Now, I'm, I know that sounds fucking crazy, but I truly believe it. And it's just because of my belief. I didn't learn anything new. I unlearned shit. During the ceremony, I was letting go of shit. I was letting go of shit. I was, let, I was letting go of shit. And through letting go of shit and through the self-belief that I was this person, I became this person just through the self-belief that I was this person, all right? Now with you and your stutter, how this relates to you is that you have already overcome your stutter. Four, four years ago, I, have all, I already overcame my stutter before my speech was perfect, because it's not, before I was not always authentic, because I'm still not, but the core of you, the core of you, if we go back to the question that I asked you before, what version of you gets brought out when you are on a good speech day? It's authentic, it's expressive, it's owning yourself, it's, be it's believing you can. And that is your core. No one, teach, no, one teach, no one teaches you that. No one can say, this is how you be authentic. You at your core already know that. And your authentic self does not stutter. Your authentic self, if if he wore or if she wore to stutter, it would not stick to you. It would not negatively affect you. It would be a leaf in the wind. It'd be a fly on the wall. Your authentic self is completely cool with who you are. Your authentic self is the goal to achieve to overcome your stutter. Because once you do, there is no longer pain. There is no longer resistance to stutter. And when there's no longer resistance to stutter, the stutter itself just gets deflated. Okay? Just know that. And there's nothing you have to do. There's nothing you have to become to be authentic. You already are authentic. It's just certain ideas, certain constructs in your brain that limit you from seeing that. That limit you from already believing you are authentic. You have already reached your goal. Now it's time to let yourself realize that. All right? To just let yourself fucking realize that. You are authentic at your core. No one can teach you that. You are authentic. The people in my program, they're, they're not learning how to become authentic. They're learning what is stopping them from showing their authenticity. They're unraveling everything in the way from that stands from them right now to their authentic self. And what's in their way is fucking mainstream bullshit. Is the, the thoughts about stuttering right now that you need to read out loud, that you need to practice saying words, that you need to 
have a breathing technique. Like, no. No, you do not need a pre-scripted breathing technique to synchronize into your conversation for you to talk fluently. Because that is not the goal. If your goal is fluency, you will fuck up the process. The goal is authenticity because once you are there, everything's fucking rainbows, all right? Once you're authentic, once you know how to be your authentic self, once you have, have transmuted into that version of yourself that you already fucking are, your stutter, your stutter is no longer a problem. I guarantee you that. Ask any of my clients. Ask any of my clients when they are in the authentic state, when they are feeling authentic, how is their stutter? You already know that. You yourself, when you're feeling good, what emotions do you feel? How good do you feel? How expressive are you? And say you talk by yourself right now, right? Talk by yourself if you're alone in your room. Say, hi, how are you? My name's Chase. Or say your name because names are bad, right? You're not going to stutter. Or maybe the tiniest bit. And it's be it's because there's no one else around. When you're by yourself, you are authentic. You already know how to be authentic. It's just what pressures you feel when someone else, another human being is, a, is all around you. you. You can be fine by yourself, but another human being, once you address that, once you address why you cannot talk, or why you stutter more around certain people rather than others, and you address the fucking root of it, depicting that, unraveling that, seeing people as actually as actual human beings, not big judgment monsters that you always got to prove you're cool to, always got to show show that, prove your validation, get acceptance. Once you can be your authentic self, no matter the no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, that is when you have won. So, in this video, I just want to make clear. There's nothing you have to learn, all right? It's everything you have to unlearn that is stopping you from being this version of yourself that you are when you're by, by yourself. The authentic version. All, all, all right. And um, yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, then I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultation calls completely for free where we will dive deep into your situation, see where you are right now and what type of things you have tried in the past what has worked what has did what has not and your exact goals to see if and how i can help you achieve them at all completely com completely for completely for free no strings attached free consultation call if you're interested in hearing more click the link down below in the dis in the description and book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call like I just said five times all right I love you you have already overcome your stutter and you're a fucking beast peace